have a good podcast. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Jackson. Sweet boy. I know. He's a he's a treasure. He is. Um not not like a like not like treasure planet. He's like a he's like a single piece of gold. He's not like a treasure chest. He's like a single doubloon. You, yeah, exactly. You find the doubloon and you see a trail of them and then you you find your way to to glory. Exactly. Yeah. He's not the prize at the end of the tunnel, but he is a prize you'll find on the way. Exactly. Cuz like at the like are you going to throw away the doubloon? No. After you find the treasure? If you find one little emerald on the way to the treasure chest, you're not going to just cast that to the you'll side. You'll probably put that in your pocket and go, ah, "I remember the first little bit of this journey. Exactly. And that's, gonna what, be special. that's what Jackson is. That's exactly what he is. <laughs> and he's back now. He's back in the yeah. office. We're, we're all we're back. We're all back. We're, we're back done. in the office. <sighs> we're here. We can breathe each other's air. Spit in my mouth. <laughs> I think I actually did. Ooh. <laughs> did Salty. I, did something land in your yeah. mouth? <laughs> yeah. No, it was a big, big, hold on. I, I, I got a loogie for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, see, no coronavirus here because I got tested and I was negative. And I didn't because I don't have to because I'm Ryan. Because he doesn't he doesn't go out anywhere. <laughs> no, exactly. I don't I literally don't know how you could catch it. But I still feel like somehow you're gonna be the one that's gonna get it. You're gonna be the one that's gonna get it I out get it of all. From seven eleven, I guess. You could get it from seven eleven, yeah. Um, from my from from other people's dirty hands that touch my food. Ugh. Those disgusting restaurant workers. I make sure that I'm I kidding. Carry around hand sanitizer in my car now. Same. So I have every a time big I get in, glob of it. Sometimes it's hot because it stays out in the sun all day. What if it explodes in my car? Then it your won't. car will be sanitized. That you don't have to worry about. Anytime you're scared of getting coronavirus, go sit inside. I'm so glad we don't have to record on Discord delay anymore. I know. As 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 smooth as smoothly as that went, uh, I'm glad to be recording in person with you again, my friend. It's nice, my my brother. It's nice that we're back. We've been waiting for this. The last few months have been off, obviously, for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. um, but now uh, we've settled into the fact that this is here to stay. So we're going to stop moping around. And we're going to get this shit back into action. We're going to start drunk drawing back up. All this good shit. So keep your eyes peeled. The, 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 long, the, long, the long hiatus is coming to a close. It, it's, it's, it's almost over. We just have to actually record the shit this week. We have to make a bunch of shit this week. We got week. some Let's Plays coming. We got some mail. Some videos. Some got, shows. Some, got some shows. One particular one. And we have that, that other thing that we got to maybe next week start working on. Yes. We have also, above all the regular content, we have two big projects. The big ones. I don't I hope we can fucking pull them off this year. It'd be pretty epic if we could. It would. Well, uh, we're we're back though. It, the big, I'm gonna put in a big confetti right there. Uh, visually? No, 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 no. Just the sound. No visual confetti. I mean, I guess I could. No, because then if we go back and re-download the video to use, then there's gonna be a random spot of confetti. That's true. That's true. That's absolutely true. So yeah, I don't, I don't think we're gonna do that with I that. I want to continue to kind of be a little lazy. Did you download? For last week's episode, did you just grab the one from? No, because I know you used a, you did it. You pulled I put a little, little intro in there. Yeah, yeah. No, I used the uh, one from like two, the first episode. Well, I sent two you, I sent you the uh, actual, just the video. The did little, you? Yeah, over when, WeTransfer. Okay, when you asked me to, I didn't forget. You did didn't. Not, I didn't forget. It's there. It's it's probably not anymore. It expired. Probably. I didn't see it because we so much we transfer shit goes it goes through the uh, chambers through the pipes, bro. It's it's always it's popping in and out of there. Probably lost it when I was doing my my ramen video, mm. which I did do. I didn't just mention it on the podcast and never do it. I watched it's it. It's on. It's on the Patreon. You you have another video for Patreon too. Yes, uh, Justin and I have another video. Hell yeah! That uh, that while Matt was gone, we decided to uh, hop on Discord and and watch some monkey videos. I'm excited for that one. I haven't so. seen it, but I have seen. I liked your Ram Dom video, and at the end when you put the mayonnaise and the cheese on it, at mm -hmm. first I was like, oh, Ryan's actually like that's just how he eats it. I guess <laughs> no, ew, dude. I like mayonnaise makes a lot of thing like makes a lot of foods better. But uh, if you have too much mayonnaise mm. and you're and you're and you just feel like you're eating a big bowl of n noodly mayonnaise, it's not it's yeah. not nice, especially with some cheese. Because mm. cheese, I love cheese, but 
when you put it with other things that probably it shouldn't go with, you kind your brain starts to go, is this rancid? Is this is this is this gone bad? This not, not the right. cheese, just the whole meal. Right, because that that flavor only works with certain certain other notes. Exactly. And mayonnaise with noodles is just. I don't want my like that. Just noodles are already pretty slimy and slippery, <laughs> yeah. and that makes it like ten times worse. And the taste of, I do like mayonnaise. Did you see how much mayonnaise I put in that shit? That was a lot of mayonnaise. It and tasted I, ju- just like mayonnaise. The it first was just when I, mayonnaise. When I saw it, I was like, "He puts that much mayonnaise." On that? <laughs> yeah. And then I realized it was a joke. I was like, "Oh, thank God!" I was like disappointed. I was like, "Oh no, Ryan." Oh, but hey, you know, yeah. Have you ever just eaten a spoonful of mayonnaise? No. Or, is that the most mayonnaise you ever consumed? Yes. Did you finish it? Maybe not because I feel I feel like deviled eggs have a shit ton of mayonnaise in them. I feel like on some old Game Grumps live stream, Brian Weck put mayonnaise in my mouth or something. He, he probably did. Well, is it mayonnaise? Mm-hmm. Is it mayonnaise? Is I mean, it, he sticks a spoon of mayonnaise be, in my mouth. Yep, Brian, that's mayonnaise. It could be Elmer's glow. It could be uh, Jiffy Puff. Uh, it could be uh, insulation from my attic. Uh, Fiberglass. It could it could be the encrusted pre cum I collected, getting excited for this for this bit. Um, he gets it he gets it on the tip of his penis, <clears throat> and then he goes out in the sun and to let it dry, and then he scrapes it off, and then he does it again until he has a nice amount of it. Uh, and then he put that in my mouth on the live stream. I'm not a fan of that. I gag. I spit. I, I I would just hate like a big glob of mayonnaise in my mouth. Would you rather have the pre cum in your mouth? Yes. Really? Yes. There's at least some... I feel like more people shoot down globs of cum. Like, they, they just... They'll <laughs> globs of cum more than they do mayonnaise. I don't think many people will take a spoonful of mayonnaise, but I think a lot of people each day take a yeah. spoonful of cum. Well, that's Not that- necessarily measuring it in a spoon, but, you know, collectively it'll, it'll, it'll shoot on their forehead, up their nose, in the back of their throat, wherever you're coming, it'll 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 shoot for a good good nice spoonful. Well, I agree with you, but people when they swallow the cum, most nine out of ten times it's in a sexual context, so that's why they don't mind because they're but, horny. But yes, but that's one of the reasons why it is better. But if, but if you're on the stream, you're not going to be horny, and so I think that eating mayonnaise would feel a lot more normal than just eating. Well, it depends cum. on who you are, because uh, there's exhibitionism, which as you know, so that could probably prompt you to be like oh shit i'm eating a, a spoonful of cum live a lo- on a live stream this is hot i'm i'm gonna jack off to this thought later of myself eating a spoonful of cum on a live stream okay i'm not saying i i do oh that. i'm saying like in this theoretical world right. where you're eating well, it's, even if you wanted to it's because okay. you just had mayo you didn't have a spoonful of did you have a spoonful of cum there was no cum it okay. was just mayo and uh I, I do think that happened. I feel like I have a memory of that happening. I, he gave a lot of people mayonnaise. Sounds like a like an advertisement for a shitty fast food chain that's bragging about the wrong things. Hey, no cum, just mayo. <laughs> Are you tired of having cum on your burger? Well, come on over to Cum Burgers, <laughs> where oddly enough, we don't put cum on your burger. Just mayo. <laughs> There's not even any meat. <laughs> cum Burgers. But I, uh... Some, some good shit. Say? What was I gonna say? Fucking fuck. So something... I'm kidding. <laughs> God damn it! I can't. I can't. I can't stop. Hey, hold on. Something stupid. I'm sure. I have faith in what. Stupid in a good way, because we're stu- Our channel's very stupid. Oh, thanks, man. Cut out when I said the bad word. I will. I won't leave it in there. I'll put it at the very end of the podcast, <laughs> so only the people that listen all the way to the end can hear it. How come Ryan is the only one that gets bleeped out on Super Mega? It's because he says naughty things. Yeah. That that wouldn't go over well with his mammy and grandmammy. What is that? Is that Coca Cola? Yeah, it's Coke. My morning Coke. I knew it. I knew a kid growing up that every morning he would drink a Vault. Remember Vault? That's disgusting. That green, like that yeah. was his. And if he didn't, he'd get a migraine. He'd have his, he'd have his head down the whole like day on his desk. I feel like it would give him a migraine. I guess. Well, with caffeine, you get so dependent on it to a point that. Yeah, same with nicotine. You get nicotine headaches. Yeah. All that shit. I um, I thought of like kind of the perfect crime recently. Because I was thinking about this when I was laying in bed one night, just to be, um, break into people's houses, but don't steal anything. Just, like, take a shit and don't flush it. Because I guarantee when someone finds that, 
They're not going to know someone else came broke into their house. But even if they did and they called the police, I the police have much bigger things to worry about. They're not going to deal with collecting the sample of the of the feces. They're like, uh, no, this is it, uh, why does it matter? But if you keep doing it, they might. If you become like a serial shitter, I'll become a serial shitter in different houses. They'll break in, take a shit, and just leave it. And it's exhilarating because you're leaving behind strict DNA evidence, but you know, the police ha- they don't give a fuck. Why are they going to take their time and put on gloves and pick the poop up and send it off to a lab? I know. Right now, the because poli- that's not really a crime. Yeah. The, plus, these days the police are dealing with enough. They have to. They have to deal with all all these Twitter threads talking mean about them. Exactly. You know, that that takes a big toll on them. And the people on, putting on tampons their face, in their, their Starbucks brains. coffee. Ex- what? The people putting tampons in their Starbucks. Are coffee. people putting tampons in? in, in no, a police in officer off- said that the that a girl at Starbucks put a tampon in his coffee, and then uh, another police department also said that apparently, I think it was a Shake Shack, uh, had some like cleaner solution in their burgers, and officers got sick, and then it turned out to be a total fabrication. Well, same with the uh, tampon thing, because they checked the security camera footage, and they were like, "Nope, <laughs> that's, there's no way that there was a tampon in your drink." And then there's also that. That poor lass who uh, what was the 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 viral video that went around a while like a few weeks ago with the how long was it with the Mc, McDonald's cop? I got a McDonald's in my phone. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man. I had to wait. Uh, I swear to God, I'm sorry. I don't mean to bring it up because it's so old. It makes me a boomer because I'm because I'm not up to date with stuff. But okay, boomer. But Jesus Christ, like. Never have I gotten to the moment where I've I've cried over waiting for McDonald's, even for ten minutes. Like I've waited. A, you can sometimes you wait a long time at the curb, dude. That's just what it is. That McDonald's in Glendale, you know the one I'm talking about. Yes, that one on San Fernando Road. Let me tell you something. I went I went there once. The one right near the Denny's in the Seven Eleven. Right near the Denny's in the, the Auto Zone. Yep, and the Pep Boys. Oh, oh. Um, maybe it's not an Auto Zone. And the maybe Goodwill. It it's in the Boys. same. Is there an auto zone there? There is. It's okay. right across the street. Okay. I thought. Uh, but <laughs> I thought I was wrong for yeah, a dude, second. Don't worry, you're not. Wrong. I don't want to be auto wrong. Zone there. I hate being wrong. But you fucking, I I went there and I ordered myself an ice cream cone, and it was like two a.m. I I waited in the drive-through line for probably like 25, 30 minutes, and there were like three cars in front of me. They just didn't move, and then they gave me the ice cream cone. And did was, you cry? I did. I did cry a little bit. Yeah. But are you an officer of the law? No. See, there's the difference. So I didn't watch that full video. She, was she crying because they they were disrespecting her by making her wait? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think, obviously, she was crying over spilled milk. I tend to think that that's not the main reason she was crying. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt and say that she was crying because she was so overwhelmed with whatever was going on in her life. And it's one of those things where it's like, she comes home and her husband's fucking the dog, so they have to get a divorce. Yeah. Uh, her parents get pneumonia for some reason. All of a sudden, uh, people hate cops now. They're not they're not buying them m- milk and, and and all that, you know, at the storefront as they used to. And and so all these things combine. All of a sudden, that one thing that happens, your, your food, she's waiting for this. The McDonald's food is the only good part of her day at this point. She just wants her fucking biscuit or whatever she ordered. She doesn't, she, she has so much going on in her life. She's got a divorce to worry about. She's got her parents that are sick and she's got a world that hates her. And the last thing that she needs is her food taking too long or being forgotten about. Damn. And you know what happened? Her food was forgotten about and she was left waiting. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Can we do a charity stream for her? Uh, yeah. I would love to do that. <laughs> Just to help her out. Right, you know, she, get, get her a bunch of McDonald's. Get Well, let's well let's raise like 60 grand, but only put it into McDonald's gift cards. So she's just stuck with $60,000, but on McDonald's gift cards. Which, uh, not not a horrible thing. No, no. It's better... It, Better than Subway gift cards. I'd probably just give them to homeless people at that point because I'm never going to spend 60 grand at McDonald's. How much do you think the average American, or okay, you and I are big fans of McDonald's. Unfortunately. And I feel bad when I say that because I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's trash food. It, it is. I'm fully, I'm not saying it's good food. I'll have food. McDonald's over in and out any day, baby. I'm not saying it's good food. I, I accept that it's trash food, but it's good. Well, like, you know, they got the formula just right. Here's the thing. It tastes good. Kraft Mac and Cheese, Easy Mac. 
It's not real mac and cheese, but to me, it's better. A Lunchables pizza, it ain't real pizza, but goddamn is it good. But who is to say what's pizza and what's not pizza, Ryan? Exactly. Well, it, it is technically, I guess, a little miniature pizza, but it's not It's not like a New York style like pizza. Like if they served it at a restaurant and tried to call it pizza, there would be a bad Yelp review. I would love to see them try to serve a, a Lunchables pizza at like a fine dining restaurant. And it's like $600? To get away with it. Dude, holy shit, how is that not a video? Like... Trying to pass <laughs> Lunchables or trying to pass kids cuisine, like doing what you can to make it look. And so if if a rich person looks at it and eats it and goes, oh, it was really good. You pass the test. It's it's all about disguising. That's sh- genius. Like, that is genius. Low quality food. And 20 bucks BuzzFeed is going to steal <laughs> this idea now and make a video like we just, fed rich people. Just like they stole my Raven Simone fart tweet. They stole one of Jackson's tweets, too. Was it about farts? Um, Wait, Jackson. Come, Come here. here. I'm taking. He's, he's running. <laughs> Kramer, <laughs> right here. Um, yeah. So you, Buzz, Buzzfeed stole one of your tweets. They, uh, they speak bu- loudly. Buzzfeed posted an article where they quoted or like linked one of my tweets in it, and it was like, 10 questions millennials have for Gen Z people." First of all, I'm Gen Z myself, so I took offense to that. But uh, yeah, it was like. Something like, why do Gen Z people hate eyebrows or something like that? Because, like, it was during the time when everybody was, like, shaving their eyebrows off. But the lesson, they stole your, they, they, they stole the, tw- yeah, they stole it. They stole one of his, too. About farting. He, had, he has one about Raven Simone farting a stinky, stinky fart. And I go, when you let out a stinky, stinky fart, and, and it's Raven Simone doing this, and then she goes, yep, that's me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's good. And they, they, <laughs> and they, they stole put it? it? They, they put it on BuzzFeed, it. yeah. Well, I guess. I mean, they gave me credit. They gave me but credit, too, them, but... I didn't give them pres- mm-hmm. per- permission. Just like how Steven Spielberg has to work for, for, for like, E.T. and all those wonderful films, and he, own, he like, he has a stake in those. I have a stake in my tweets. Those are, those are artistic representations of my mind and my thoughts. How much ad revenue do you think they made off of that one article? Probably a couple thousand dollars. Well, also, like, when you get a celebrity as high status as myself, you're going to get a lot of exactly. traffic going there. Yeah, exactly. Because of that. So the ad revenue is going to be way higher. So. And you're not getting a cut of that pie. I tried to get my lawyers to contact them, but no dice so far. Damn. Oh, but well, that, well, well it, it's nice to see though that I'm not alone in being funny enough that they steal my tweets. Exactly. It, it would have to suck to not be funny enough on Twitter for that to happen. To yeah. You. I mean, I'm just. One thing I will say is I do agree with you. It it is it is a nice feeling to know that my tweet was comical enough for the geniuses over at BuzzFeed. To copy and paste it into one of their articles. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, I just get the image of like a little monkey at a typewriter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, right? Making up to like, <laughs> I don't feel like writing an article today. What do I do? Let me just screen cap 10 tweets about farts. See, about farts? <laughs> it's got to be easy to work at BuzzFeed. Ryan, the funny thing is that implies that they ever write an article. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what are we? Bu- uh, a bunch of right wing assholes, huh? Yeah. We're coming down on the cucks now? Yeah. But yeah. The cucks are this. our friends. That's true. Not food. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I was saying before any of this, well, first of all, I'm upset they never stole one of my tweets because that makes me feel like uh, maybe my tweets aren't funny enough. No, it should. Yeah. You need to work on them a, a bit. Could you help me? Uh yeah, you know my tweets are so hilarious, and I and they I are and I tweet all the time. Your tweets are always they're always zingers. Here I have you I, don't miss. I'll, I'll shit here. How about this? This this will never be a tweet. I ha- I have something in my drafts. Are okay. you ready? Are you ready? Oh my god, this Who is got my draft. This is a good one. I only have one thing in my drafts. Actually, it's probably gone by now. Oh wait, oh. Dear God, IDK if you use Twitter, but I was wondering if you could just throw in a JK about this whole COVID thing. Amen. <laughs> Is that a high one? That that's that's definitely a high one. I have some. I have some. I, I want to like... try to start collecting my high tweet thoughts and never post Thanks, them. We're called Ryan, <laughs> high, Ryan's high thoughts. Damn it! And it's a picture of you with like bloodshot eyes, really badly photoshopped. Well, well, when I stream, I I I'm usually high, and the the code word is praying because i don't want to get deep whatever they'll do on twitch so you're praying yeah i like that i like i say i say I, i'm feeling very spiritual i right just now. prayed i just prayed who else who else prayed 
Just shit like that. My drafts are actually gone because when I was in South Carolina, I told you I uninstalled Twitter while I was home. Mm -hmm. Deleted all my drafts. Really? So that's wow. actually a bummer. I didn't know that it would delete the drafts if I took the app off of my phone. Well, much like when God struck his mighty vengeance down on the earth with a flood, you get a chance to renew. That's... You know what, Ryan, I like you because you're always putting a positive spin on all this shit that sucks. And I really like that about you. You know, in these times, <laughs> you, 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 you kind of have to. Um, or else everything sucks. What I was going to ask was, before, before the whole BuzzFeed tweet debacle, I want to know, because I was saying, you and I like McDonald's a lot. Yeah. And I want to know how and, much... Uh, uh, yeah, Jackson. Yeah, you, you can, can go. go. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jackson. Bye. Uh, <laughs> So you and I do like McDonald's a lot. I have to say I haven't had it since we're back here. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I haven't had McDonald's since I went to South since before I went to South Carolina, uh, and I do I crave it. I can't. I should not order it because I've gotten to the habit of not only ordering McDonald's in in, a, in of itself is is not good for you, but I go the extra mile and I order that thirteen. Cookie, cookie toe. Cookie toe. The cookie toe? With yeah. some milk. And then I'll I do just that dip too. the cookies in milk and I'll be like, it, but dude, that following morning. Ooh. Not fun. Some heartburn? Mm hmm. I, well, I brought this up because it's like, how much money do you think in your life ever you've spent on McDonald's? Hundreds. No way it's been thousands. More than hundreds. No way it's about been it, thousands. Dude. When you order McDonald's from like Postmates, it usually is going to come out to be. Between twenty and thirty dollars. McDonald's. This has nothing to do with courier costs or tips. Okay, strictly on the food. Probably at thousands McDonald's. though, right? Because ah, fuck, I don't think I don't about know. it. Think a Big Mac meal is like eight bucks. You know, but I don't get a Big Mac. You get the two cheeseburgers, one plain, one with ch cheese. I get with ketchup I, and mustard. You're you're almost there. Here, here. Let me let me get it for you. Thought I knew this, dude. I get. A double cheeseburger plain, nothing but the cheese, meat, and bun. And then I get a hamburger with only ketchup and mayonnaise. And then I get a small fry mayonnaise. with a Coke. I thought it was mustard. No. I, it used to be just ketchup, but ever but now I've added mayonnaise because I do like the combination of the two together. It's brought it all full circle. Back and, to the mayonnaise. And you're like, Ryan, and people are probably like, Ryan, you had a full burger and said you actually liked it when your friend Matt cooked you up a, a big burger. And to that I have to say... <laughs> Um, we I, while I it eat, was good, I, I do have to say it's. I think it's like the quality of the the ingredients. Like, woo! Crisp lettuce is something that I want. I don't want soggy ass McDonald's lettuce. I don't know. McDonald's lettuce is, is cut up into little shreds, so it's crunchy. Ew! You, we need to mark that microphone, just so if we have to take these down, put them back up. I don't get confused and grab that one. Well, this one's literally pinned onto this side of the table with my seat. But, so. but if we ever pack them into a box and then unpack them, we're not going to remember who's is who's. Well, get, find me a, a silver Sharpie and I'll put my initials on them. I'll we'll, sign we'll it. We'll autograph it. And then one day we'll we'll sell it. Like This is the mic that Ryan farted into on multiple occasions. Hey, I, I did that also with the Grumps mics. They're still talking into them, those suckers. <laughs> Sons of a bitch. <laughs> those idiots. Those fucking <laughs> dumb. <laughs> but basically, Danny's lips... Every now and then we'll, because you know when recording it happens by accident, his lips are brushing against like the same mic that you literally pushed into your like, like gym shorts, like into where your asshole is yeah. farted. Set on, on probably at least At the precipice plus, of the orifice of my asshole. At least 30 plus times. Yeah. I'd say over the course of recording there. So likely yes. Um, so Danny puts his, his mouth up to that and if he nuke, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ryan, what the hell? It's hurting my vocal cords. Uh, your poop flakes will get into my throat, and I'll sound just like fucking Justin Bieber. <laughs> I wish I wish you sounded just like Justin. <laughs> uh, Danny, um, uh, it's someone pointed out. Uh, for those who don't know who we're talking about, Danny Sexbang, the one and only. Uh, someone pointed out that our rendition of him sounds like a South Park character, <laughs> and I realized that because when I was back home, I watched the. Michael Jackson episode of South Park, the Jeffersons, <laughs> and I realized that our Danny impression sounds just like Michael Jackson, like Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Mr. No, Jefferson, they call Mr. Jefferson. No, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Well, that's pretty good. 
Let's Damn just, it, Carmen! It's the South Park voice. You gotta do this. It's like uh, at the beginning of uh, the Book of Mormon, they have a South Park voice kind of narrow it. N- narrow it. <laughs> narrow it? <laughs> uh, no, it's not like a specific voice from South Park, but you can tell it's... It's, yeah, but yeah, but yeah. it's, it's um... One day, Jesus was... Like, it's one of those. It's very South Park. Yeah. yeah. Book of Mormon's still my favorite musical of all yet time. I see it still. So good. I won't um, have any chance to see it anytime soon. Nope. Me Undies wants to talk about your underwear. Like, seriously, they have a lot of feelings about it and want to chat with anyone who will listen. So here it goes. Me Undies just wants everyone to feel comfy as heck with the freedom to express themselves. That's why they make the world's softest undies in classic colors and fun prints, like dinos and surfboards. Scream. Ah! Whatever you put on every day, they want you to be comfortable to be you. Oh my lord, Me Undies. I mean, we've already said so much about it. But we can't even say enough. It's so comfortable. We each, like, legit, Matt and I, I think a majority of... No, we both... I think we both cleaned out our underwear drawer, and we have nothing but wonderful me undies. It's, it's great. They have wonderful, vibrant colors and designs. I think my favorite... Uh, Pair right now are just the solid color. That's what I like. I always I order those. I get order the, a bunch like of the blue or the black color. or the red. Yep, makes my junk look bigger. And uh, look, Miundis is serious about softness. No, like so serious. They scoured the world for the softest fabric known to man. It all starts with sustainably sourced beechwood trees that magically turn from pulp to yarn to undies. Undies that kind of feel like heaven on your skin, for comfort from the outside to in. Keep your undie drawer stocked with the Me Undies membership, a subscription that sends new pairs right to your door. Plus, get site wide savings and exclusive deals. I have that and I love it. And for as often as you shit yourself, you need it. I do, I do. I almost did while I was home, but I didn't. And since most of you who watch this are children and shit themselves on the daily, you gotta get this Me Undies membership. Me Undies is a great offer for our listeners. For any first time purchasers, you'll get 15% off and free shipping. It's a no brainer, guys, especially because they have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. To get your 15% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. That's MeUndies.com slash SuperMega. Ah. Thanks to G Fuel for sponsoring Super Mega Cast. You can get 30% off with code SuperMega at checkout. 30% off, Ryan? That's right. G Fuel is an energy drink geared towards gamers <laughs> like you and me. That's us. It's designed to help support performance, energy, and extreme focus, and is the official energy drink of esports. Most flavors are keto. Fr- is it keto or keto? Keto. Most flavors are keto friendly with five G's of carbs and no sugar. And right now, you can get thirty percent off of G Fuel with code Super Mega at checkout. Uh, I don't think we've said it enough. So that's thirty percent off of G Fuel using code Super Mega at checkout, right? That is. That is. Oh my lord! So you're talking about the drink that you and I tried while filming the E3 video and ended up loving, right? Yeah. With with tons of wonderful flavors, so if you don't like one, you can always test other flavors out and probably find the one that's more fitted to you. G Fuel sent us some free green apple G Fuel. We took them like shots. Yeah, we took it like shots. And let me tell you something: I was energized. I was clairvoyant. My modern war, my modern warfare warzone game has never been stronger since since drinking G Fuel. And my Stuart Little PlayStation One 2002 video game performance was out of this world. Don't forget. Again, you can get 30% off at the code Super Mega Checkout. Yeah, just end it like that. Okay, that's, that's, that's a good end of that. <laughs> G Fuel. Uh, yeah, because I, w- I was really hanging on for the last few months, like, uh, it, it'll be done soon. It'll be done. I've just got accepted at this point, like, it's not going to be done soon. So, no, I, I've kind of, well, it's not true, but I'm trying to have this mindset. Just like, this is the new what is. Act like this is what it's going to be for. Years, even I think it'll make not, it go faster. Even though it's not going to be like this for years, just make this the new normal. This has to, you have to you have to get used to it, or else you're going to continuously just be like, oh, this sucks. Yeah, it'll go faster if you accept it as the new norm because and, then you're not constantly like, is it is it almost over? Is it almost over? And believe me, I understand people. It can get lonely. I did not see a real human being since Matt left for South Carolina. Um, until Damn. today. So that was so that was July thirteenth. I last saw you, or twelfth, which I can't remember which one. I think it was thirteenth. So three weeks. Yeah, three weeks. It was just me and Lego all alone, and that's used. And even when I was uh, self quarantining for uh, my uncle Beans when he was visiting, God rest his soul. I hope he vi- I hope he visits again this year. But um, it's not looking likely. No, it's not. But what the hell is that? 
is there an airline taking off in someone's back? Does someone have a private it's, it sounds jet like a strip? jet just flew over the house. <laughs> but that was really no, that sounds like one of those sounds when you're in a Minecraft cave. It's like <laughs> Oh yeah. That's where they are we near like a cave or something with, with some mobs inside of it? Uh, what, what was I talking about? I'm talking about Uncle Beans. Before that. Oh, yeah, being lonely. Um it's just so like I understand. But it's nice you have Lego. Yes, it is nice. Dude, Lego's been such a fucking little a little shit recently. Really? He's having a little shit phase. He's usually good about not going after human food. <gasps> but if I but if okay, so I, I ordered some wings and uh I I felt bad. Don't worry. It's I, it's, I, a, it's not a sin, Ryan. You know, if you already ate it, there's no point in feeling guilty. Yeah. I I ordered some wings and some mozzarella sticks that I was I was uh, excited to eat. They were honey wings, by the way. Good, good delicious. ass. Yeah, that's oh, good. Honey wings are delicious. Fuck. It was from a I can't remember where it was from. Some, some one of those Asian doodads, you know? Yeah. One of those places. Yep. But um, I I, I go outside to have my celebratory cigarette because I'm like I can't wait to eat this yes! bountiful feast. Uh, harvest <laughs> and uh, I, I go back in and Lego's licking his chops and I'm like what's going on I look mozzarella sticks are still there I look at the wings there were like seven or eight of them in there just big old fucking wings gone all of them completely all of them meat and bone <laughs> all gone he swallowed the bones yes and which is not good because no. cooked, cooked bone um, is Dog shouldn't have bones in general, but cooked bone can splinter easily, which can cause digestive and in test. So for the next three days, I called a vet just to make sure I was like, hey, should I bring him in? He's like, you can, but dogs are garbage cans. I mean, something can happen and then you should bring them in, but usually they'll pass it. And I'm like, OK, I'm just an idiot. So I, you know, 72 hours, I'm waiting to see if there's any blood in this stool. No, he's he's pooping fine. We get to tomorrow. I'm giving him his flea medication, right? I slather some peanut butter on on this on this beautiful thing. It's this. Oh, it's the only thing that's worked so far. It's called a Next Guard or some shit. Had to get it. Had to actually get it like prescribed by the vet. But um, I lather it in uh, peanut butter and give it to the boy, and he's so happy. He's like. Wow, I love this. I'm like, okay. So I, I kind of just put the top back on, and I think I get a phone call, so I put it down, and I, I go talk to someone. Uh, later in the night, I come around, and I, I walk past him, and he, and he, and he jumps up. And oh, yeah, they and, know. He knew and he all of a sudden, I'm like, bad. what's going on? And I see that he's stagnant. I'm like, Lego, come here. And he's not moving from his spot. I'm like, what's going on? And then I, I kind of look, and I see like a hint of red. I'm like, that looks like the, the, the part of the GIF logo. <laughs> And uh, yeah. lo and behold, he, w he so it's about a, re a regular size of, of peanut butter, uh, peanut butter, just a regular little two little. What do you would call it? A tub tub tub. A it just sounds bottle, not bottle, a little no, jar, a little jar, it's not really a, little a plastic jar. jar. It's plastic. But yeah, a, plas a jug, a plastic jug a is way too big. Butter. A, a, a small jar of Jif peanut butter, right? Um. All, just almost all of it was gone. And it was, this is a new one I opened. Yeah. <laughs> was he doing Dude, that? He did that and he threw up twice oh. throughout the day. And I feel bad for him. I saw him throughout the day. He was just laying down all miserable. I'm like, yeah, that's what happened. Like, <laughs> I'd feel like shit if I ate a whole fucking tub of peanut that's a butter, lot of my calories. man. Dude, that's a shit he's a fat calories. piece of shit. He is big. I, felt, I need to be better. Because here's the thing. Usually he's really good about not eat getting food from the counter eating it like he'll never go for it he's living his in best all life. the years i've known him he's gotten a little bit of courage and i think it was honestly those honey wings which started it because he went damn if i can just have this with being a little sneaky bitch then i think it's worth it he's, he's testing his limits man next thing <laughs> you know he's gonna have the whole the whole thanksgiving roast the thing you put down the table <laughs> oh but yeah so. i love lego man He's so fucking great. Whenever I talk about him, for me, it's like, it's like, is this what it's like to gush about your kid and about the problems you have when you have a kid? Yes. I know probably. it's not the same thing, of course, but I have to imagine owning a pet has triggers something in your brain that's similar to owning a small child. <laughs> owning a small child. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, my wife and I just. Started owning our first child. I mean, when you adopt a child, what do you do? You're owning it. You you buy it. You buy that child. No, you just pay for the adoption fees. No, you literally just sold that child with money. 
You didn't just give That's it. That's true. I never thought of that that way. Give them parents. You made those parents pay, pay a ridiculous amount of money. So now they legally own the child. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, I never thought of it that way. It would, but I, I, on the other hand, I don't think I would want any system that just gives kids away for free. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so there has to be some sort of balance. Free kids. I was, uh, I was real sad because right before I left, uh, to go back to South Carolina. You didn't give me a kiss. Well, that's because I was distraught because, uh, the kittens had to go away. That's right. No more cats. Yeah. That's a good thing. It's a great thing. My house is, is so clean right now and so back to normal. It's a blessing disguised it's as a curse. It's so nice. You know? We've been keeping the house. I think that really opened our eyes. We've been keeping the house super clean and fresh since then. Like, it does not get dirty. And it's really nice. My, my dishes. I've been keeping my place clean, but the one place I could work on is always dishes and laundry because I'm always in need of... I always run out of clothes and I kind of, I, I go the route of, the route of, the route of washing them, drying them, and then leaving all the clothes in the, in dryer, the dryer. And then in the morning, just opening up the dryer and be like, okay, there's my underwear. I'll wear these pants and this shirt today. <laughs> that's, that's how I pick out my clothes Well, on a normal, on a normal quarantine day. You're lucky I don't have a dryer. So I have to come you to, have to the come office here, yeah. Yeah, to do laundry. So then I really have to. You just have a wash? Yeah. Because I bought the dryer, and it was, it, it it fit perfectly above the washer into the space in my house, but the mounting kit added, or the stacking kit added one inch. So they're like, "Sorry, we can't do it. It's too tall." And I went back to Best Buy, so I had to return the the dryer. And when I went back, and I was like, "Hey, uh, the guy told me I can just get a different brand that will fit." And they're like, "No, that will void our warranty. You can't mix and match brands. So just have a washer, dry things out in the backyard." <laughs> You, yeah, oh, hey, hang dry is nice, but you could, um, just go for the all in one, but the, that's just a pro, yeah, that's, that's a that's a whole that's a that's a whole can of worms. <laughs> you don't want to adult too much, no, yeah, I, I, you know, it's hard adulting as it is, uh, but the kittens are gone, they, uh, a lot of people on Instagram didn't seem to quite understand the concept of fostering kittens. Wait, were they like, how could you just, what, you, so you liked them when they were kittens and then you threw them away? Yeah, a group of people thought that I literally adopted six cats and then uh, just dumped them off at a, at a pet smart when I didn't want them anymore. These are people who, these are people who say they know and care about animals but actually have never done anything to help them because the first thing you know uh, when you, when talking about like animal care or anything like that usually you'll you'll think of adoption and fostering and fostering is a huge part of the adoption process because um you can't you can't house all of the animals uh, all of these places uh kennels or whatever they can't house all of the animals so yeah. they need fostering families which help out so these places don't go to kill shelters exactly other other places that uh, would not be good for them so for those who did not know uh I, I applied for this uh, foster place. Explain yourself. I applied for yeah, this sure foster, you, foster sure you place. Did a, sure you did a really nice thing. You took animals in and you, and, and you helped raise them and your, your house took a beating for it. So explain yourself. Well, I got them the day they were born and then I raised them until they were three months old and then I had to give them back to the adoption agency where they gave them all their vaccines and then they put them up for adoption and people were mad because uh, some of them ended up in PetSmart's adoption <clears throat> uh, Did they? thing. Did they? Wait, are, you can see pictures of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. But everyone's like, Pet, PetSmart's evil. How could you do this to these cats? Uh, but PetSmart is not actually handling the cats. It's there are volunteers with the agency that go. They're just housed there right now. Yeah. In a little, I saw pictures. It they, they have friends to play with and very sweet. And some of them have been adopted. I'm I'm very happy for them. Um, but yeah, I'm actually thinking about soon getting another six or seven cats and <laughs> then dumping them off on the side of the road when I'm done with them. I don't think like I re I think the only animal like I feel like I could definitely. Maybe get a cat. For pets. I, f I feel like at PetSmart, I just look at fish or mm -hmm. hamsters and stuff. Because I don't know. There's. I went through a, a um, an adoption place in Los Angeles to get Lego, and I don't know if I've told this story. Or not. I originally was not supposed to get Lego. Do you remember this? Yeah, I do. I do. Yeah. I was supposed to get a dog named. Her name was Cujo. Yep. She was very fluffy and soft looking. I was so excited, um, and I. And I I recently been, both of us have, 
but from my perspective, I've been going through a lot of shit. And for me, I've always grown up with a dog and that companionship is something that I, that I need. I love, yeah. I love it. And so to find, and so I, I go to the, the adoption place and it's set up. I'm finally going to meet Cujo who, you know, I had a meeting. You were with excited. And, yeah. Uh, so I got there and I'm like, okay, I'm here to, I brought my dad and everything and uh, we're here to meet uh, Cujo and their face just went, <gasps> and I was like, wait, what's going on? They went, we actually just gave Cujo to someone. And it's like, oh, why did you schedule a visit with me if someone else? Or it was just this big thing. I remember my dad. He he wasn't like customer service, like Karen mad. Was he a Karen? No, no, no. He was just, he, he wasn't like, how could you do this? I remember I walked out because I was just like upset. I was like just anxious and like, I this this sucks. This brings down everything. I think my dad just was like, you guys really don't know how bad this is. <laughs> just because like of what I went through recently. Like he wasn't like how bad this is for them. Just like how much this sucks for me. Yeah. He's like, and I, and I think he was like, y'all need to make this up to him. And then he left and I love my dad for that. He was very straight up. And I got an email, uh, that same day with a long winded apology and a picture of Lego plus dibs. They were like, "Hey, this dog, uh, this dog came in. His name's Legolas. And uh, if you uh, want to adopt him, you'd have you'd have first dibs. Uh, if you want to meet him, also nobody else has met him. He has no scheduled appointments. You are the first one to meet him, one hundred percent guaranteed." And I remember going, I don't know. I just like I was so looking forward. I couldn't imagine not having Lego. Yeah, though. Lego's great. I could not imagine Ooh. not having Lego. He is my he is my shining star. He's your he's your he's your your uh something stone, whatever <laughs> it's called. I've said this multiple times. I have no idea where I would be without Lego. And I'm just glad that finally like I can give him like a decent kind of back area to run around in. Yeah. For the longest time we were in an apartment and he would have to kind of just kind of he was kennel trained also a little at Mark's when we when we kind of lived with Mark. Um, but now he has a just got a nice backyard. He yeah. got a nice backyard. I hang out with him. I <clears throat> I talk to him like he's a fucking person. You should bring him over and let him run around in my backyard. Okay, he'd love it. I also uh, I wish I could have kept Billy. I saw so many people asking me on Instagram like, why didn't you keep? Billy? I know you were you were I debating him, it. Billy, I wanted to keep so bad. You'd have to keep two, right? Yeah, they had a policy where uh, they they said that it is psychologically damaging for young cats to grow up alone. So. At least until they're six months, you they have to live with another cat of like equal energy, mm -hmm. uh, which would have meant that we would have to adopt two cats. Okay. And uh, honestly, like we already have four people living here. Plus, uh, Christian just moved onto our couch. We're just not Christian. We're just not in a place to take two cats in right now. Yeah. So unfortunately, do you see yourself getting a pet. You were talking about a snake before you left. I do want to get a snake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like a. The one that I want you to get is the corn one. Little corn snake. Little corn snake because they're red and tan and black. And uh, red next to black, a friend of Jack. <laughs> but red next to yellow, kill a fella. <laughs> Oops. That's that's the uh, that's the classic rhyme I remember. If I'm if you're in the woods, and you see a snake, and it has red, yellow, and black stripes, red next to yellow. Yeah, could I, it'll kill a fellow. You know that that rhyme could mean two things: either a poisonous snake, or it could it could be a commentary on the races of America. <laughs> <laughs> Red next to black the <laughs> Wait, it's about snakes? See, you can tell it's from World War II But red next to yellow? Woo, that'll kill a fella <laughs> They just bombed Pearl Harbor <laughs> I guess it could apply to that, yeah That's great I do want a snake uh, I like corn snakes I think they're beautiful But then I also found the little green ones And those, I just like the green I ones I like those too Because they're just They're like the perfect image Of like a serpent You know Like if you think of like A cartoon <laughs> snake It's always green I remember that <laughs> I love it Because here's the thing You you would have so much love For that snake The snake would have Zero emotional connection <laughs> yeah. with you. I love I love seeing videos Of like Snake owners There's this one That I saw recently I think it was this snake That like was just Just bit onto this girl's ear And she was like Kind of crying And she's like uh, She's like What's going on I'm like That snake doesn't care It doesn't care You've owned it For like years It doesn't even know Who it's you just are It's like What are you doing Put the me down The snake has no idea Who you are <laughs> I know I, I What Okay 
Uh, let me see how long a snake's memory is. <laughs> okay. Because goldfish is what, like five seconds? <laughs> is it? Yeah. Holy shit. How long is a snake's memory? What do they uh, have? It might, be, it might be impressive. You might be impressed by a snake's memory. Um, okay, I'm on Quora.com. Uh, Fuck Quora, dude. They make you sign up if you click on a second question. I used to I used to ask Cora all the time. I remember it was like in middle school or something. You could text their number, be like what, four six six four some shit. I can't remember what it was. Cha cha. Cha. It was cha cha. Yeah, not 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 that. It was cha cha. Holy there shit. There was another one. There was KGB and there was cha cha. But do you remember cha cha? You'd be like, "How you doing?" And like the guy, if they wanted to have fun, were like, "I'm doing pretty good." And like they would just have a little personal response. I remember I used Cha Cha to ask sex questions. I was too embarrassed to ask my parents <laughs> when I was in middle school. But you know that's a real person that either looks it up on Google real quick or yeah. types it out themselves. It was like I remember I wanted per... one of those jobs just to fuck with people. Uh, so here's the answer on snakes, though. Uh, they do have memory, but they don't process it through an emotional brain. So they learn by experience. So it stays with them. Uh, like this animal is dangerous. That one's not. This is prey. This is not. But they don't have an emotional response to those memories. So your snake might remember you as a as a food source, but it's never going to be like. Yeah, they might you know. see you and be like, "Okay, I don't have anything to worry about." Yeah. So you know, but it's not like a cat or dog where it recognizes. They do you have as emotional entity. sides of their brains. You know. Yeah. Where snakes are just. You know, I say, I say, I say, dogs and cats, but they're not the only animal that can develop emotional bonds with humans. Elephants. Mm -hmm. Pigs. Dolphins. Dolphins. Whales. Monkeys. Monkeys. That's about octopi. It. That's about it. Oct octopi. Actually, I found out that octopi is not the correct... Octopus? It's, oct it's octopuses. Octopuses? Octopi is apparently just like not really, really the correct word. It sounds I, nice to say. I read recently octopi. that octopi is a word, but like it's up to your preference, but it really is not like the correct form of the plural. Well, octopuses then. And if I'm wrong, the fucking Wikipedia warriors in the comments are going to roast me to death for that, but... I can't imagine all birds, but some birds... Parrots? I see crows. I've always wanted. You could a get a really nice relationship with a crow or a oh, raven. They rec they're, they're they'd recognize your faces. Yeah, and also I've always wanted a pair, like one of those beautiful like macaque, not macaque, mac macaw, whatever they're called, the the pretty colorful ones, right? The big ones yes. that are like red and blue and yellow. I've always wanted one of those, but the problem is, first of all, they scream all the time. And Birds scream loud. in general, yeah. And they live to be like seventy. That's why you got to remove their uh, quack box. <laughs> Remove their quack box? Yeah. Then the, then it can't talk to me. There's no such thing as a quack box. Damn it, dude, you got me. <laughs> uh, but they fucking, I love parrots so much, but they stink, they poop a lot, they scream, they don't shut up, and they live to be like 70, which means that when you adopt a parrot, like, you're going to have that for the rest of your life. So that's, that is a commitment. To Imagine or owning a tortoise. Mm. That thing would be alive until you're dead. Hitler's pet tortoise just died. Really? Yeah, like like a couple weeks ago, actually. Good, that son of a bitch. That fucking Hitler, that Nazi asshole. Fucking turtle, Nazi bitch. Fucking bitch ass tortoise Nazi. Get out of here. Tortoise with two S's in it. Get it? <laughs> well, did we know it's like, <laughs> I, I could imagine, you know how they, uh, when, when World War II ended, how a lot of uh, ex higher up, like Nazi echelon people fled to like Argentina. Yeah, they fled to Argentina and they tried to live other lives. Imagine this turtle's doing the same thing. You have like a whole CIA operation of trying to find this turtle. You have this turtle living its happy life. He has all the nuclear secrets. Then, then, then they take him to the Nuremberg trials. <laughs> Put him before like the like the judge <laughs> and the jury and everything. They sentence the tortoise to death. That's how he died. You're sent. You're sentenced to tortoise prison. Just put him in like a dog kennel. Oh my god, he tortoise hung himself in his cell. <laughs> <laughs> no, the tortoise cameras were off. <laughs> the little, the little tortoise cameras and the and the rabbit secure the Dude, hair in another universe. Guards. It's just tortoise Epstein and the hair security guards were all. The same. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> She's still kicking it, surprisingly. Jelaine? Jelaine, yeah. Jizz, Jizz Lane. Dude, Maxwell. I tried watching that documentary on Netflix. I, I think I mentioned it. I can't yeah. remember. I mean, did you finish it? No, because I tried to watch it again while I was eating dinner, and then I couldn't eat my dinner, and then I just changed it to something else. Yeah, it's not the best appetite stimulus uh, about children being molested. So. No, it's it's not good. Like, when you're—imagine when you're put, imagine putting a big old f just fork full, you know, you twist a fork full of spaghetti and some meatball, you go, mm. oh, it's in your mouth, and all of a sudden it's like— yeah, I was 14 and he started massaging my 
breasts and I just felt uncomfortable. I'm just like watching and listening. I'm like, I'll put on Futurama. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I'll watch Moana. I'll, I'll I'll listen to the to the pretty Disney songs. I don't need to listen to this fucking awful, disgusting bullshit. Do you want to see? I'm not our- saying like this is awful and disgusting. How dare they out Jeffrey Epstein? <laughs> no, like- man's just trying to live his life. <laughs> you want to hear how our brains differ? Uh, oh. I, I put on. Uh, a Tom Pearl video. And you just eat while watching to Tom show, Pearl? Well, I, I put on Tom Pearl to show someone, and I, there was a box of pizza on the table, and just like without thinking while I was showing someone Tom Pearl, I just like took a slice and started eating it, and Carson was like, are you seriously eating pizza <laughs> right now? And I was like, oh, I didn't even think about it. Uh, Tom Pearl took all his videos down, by the way. <sighs> He's gone. He's gone. Uh, and I think that it Looks like uh, exhibitionism was a, was a friend he shouldn't have dabbled with. I'm wondering if it's because of us and our podcast. It's probably due to the fact that he's a pedophile. That is... That Sorry. Uh, a s- no, he's a, he's a pedophile. Okay, okay. I didn't know if there was a specific term. That's on public record. I, I, I wanted to respect him. Right. That is on public <laughs> record, though. We're not out. That's not an accusation. That's on no, public record. No, yeah. Uh, but I wish... I do yearn to see those videos again. It has been a while. Yeah. Um, and those videos were just... There's one I found on a website that's still saved where he's like, My name is Tom Perra. I'm a human toilet. I love to eat shit and drink piss. He I mean, does, he, though. He does. He loves to eat shit and drink piss. See, he has like a slight whistle and that little grin on his face. It's so uh, jubilant. It's so fucking joyous. It's gross. It's disgusting. It, it is disgusting, but it, it brings me ple- not sexual pleasure, but emotional support, I would say. I can feel a poo-poo brewing. You want to go Tom Perl it? Yeah. I'll film it. Okay. Ad reads? Yeah. During these economically turbulent times, everyone is looking for a way to feel more financially secure. So if you're still needlessly throwing money every month at high-interest credit card debt, it's time you checked out Upstart, the revolutionary online lending platform that knows you're more than just a credit score. Now is the time to find out how... Now is the time... I'm so sorry. Now is the time to find out how low your Upstart rate can be to help pay off your high-interest credit card debt. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't care. Keep it I'll in. make it work. I'll make it work. <laughs> Unlike other lenders, Upstart can help reward you based on your education and job history in the form of a smarter rate. You don't need a degree or a diploma to apply, though. Upstart lets you skip going to the bank because it's completely online. They offer loans from $1,000 to 50 Gs, <gasps> so you can consolidate your debt into one easy fixed-rate payment. Upstart makes it fast and simple to check your rate. Since it's just a soft pull, it won't affect your credit score. The hard pull happens if you accept your rate and proceed with your application. And the best part? If the loan is approved and accepted, most people get their funds the very next business day. Over 400,000 people have used Upstart to pay off credit cards or meet their financial goals. Free yourself from the burden of high-interest credit card debt and get back to using your money your way with Upstart. I have several friends that have used Upstart, and it's really helped their financial situation. See why Upstart has a 4.9 out of 5 star rating on Trustpilot. And hurry to upstart.com slash supermicro to find out how low your Upstart rate can be. Your loan amount will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Not all applicants will qualify for the full amount. Checking your rate only takes a few minutes. That's upstart.com slash supermicro. Matt, again, what? Upstart.com slash supermicro. Nice. Wow, so, that, was a, that was a good ad. Good ads, man. Uh, how was the the poo poo? It was nice. So recently, I saw uh, uh-huh. we we all know Delo Beast, uh, a member of the Super Mega community who makes compilations. Mm-hmm. He's made a couple for us on our channel. Um, recently, he uploaded uh, Best of Mario games, and it was six hours. What? And I'm like, first of all, I don't remember ever recording Mario that long. Second, how how do you find that much best of? That has clips? to be just. All of the content where Mario's on screen. So what I'm thinking is like, with the amount we've talked about shit on this podcast, as in like feces, like, I think that the the, the talking about doo-doo compilation would be longer than six hours, probably. Well, that was from two months ago, Matt. Recently, they're into Chibi Chubby. Because <gasps> they have a best of Chibi Chubby hypotheticals. Sounds familiar. <sighs> And then best of Chibi Chubby real ad reads. I think that uh, Delo Beast uh, is canceled. Yeah. I sorry, Delo Beast. Sorry, I, I I can't deal with 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 sharing the limelight. Mm-mm. Okay. No, it's a bit too much for me. Actually, Delo Beast, if you do hear this, uh, DM me on Twitter because <clears throat> I have some ideas. I thought Delo Beast got off of Twitter. 
Oh, that's true. Okay, that would explain why I haven't heard from them so fucking long. Yeah. Well, email us. Well, I don't think they listen. I don't know who who knows if they still listen. This is they made that Mario video two months ago. Damn. Chibi Chubby might be their new Chibi new, Chubby's Chibi Chubby squeeze in. baby. Um, They're, it's good. You should go check out a <clears throat> Chibi Chubby. I guess if you want, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. But if, I mean, if you really want to, we're not saying you have to, but if you want to, you could check it out. Yeah. Um, it's from a uh, Rav and uh, Rav and Shill, the rapper. It's from a uh, Gavin and Will, something like that. Yeah. Bill broke his leg like really bad. Who? Will. Will broke his leg. Ah, okay. Uh, Skrill Will. He broke his leg so bad and like he can't walk or anything. Which I guess sucks for him. It doesn't suck for me or you. <laughs> we're fine. No, we're fine. We're I've never fine. had a broken bone or fractured bone sucks, in my dude. life. It sucks. I know. Shattered my foot and I got a hairline fracture right here in my arm once because I was hanging from a bar at school. Well, I wish I knew what that felt like, but unfortunately I don't. You so. want to go outside and do it? I guarantee I could. We could break your arm in like thirty seconds outside. A clean break. Actually, fast way to do it is just go in the driveway, uh, put your arm under my car wheel, and I'll just run it over. I could just jump from a very high, like let's say, just even two story building, and just deadlock my legs. I think that would actually paralyze you because the shock would go up your spine. No. Okay. <laughs> Quadriplegic after that. Well, there is that tree on the property that you can actually climb really high. Remember how high I climbed it that one time? It, it is a nice climbing tree. There's Which, a lot of hefty branches. And you could, if you fell, you'd break a bone probably. Just thinking about that makes my, do, do your hands get sweaty when you think about heights? Like climbing? Because I know some people do. Climbing? So imagine you're yes. hanging from, uh, you're hanging from, a crane or from the edge of an airplane. Yeah, Do your well, hands yes. start to sweat. One hundred percent. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think anyone's hands would sweat if they well, some people don't hanging out of uh, an airplane. That's actually uh, like an evolutionary response. Apparently, what I read was you hold on to things a little bit better, just a little bit of uh, sweat, a little bit of like moisture. Hands a little more sticky. So that's like when I start thinking about that, my body's like, oh, are we are we a high high up? Do we need to grab on better? But then if your hands get too sweaty, you're gonna slip. Exactly. That's why your hands prune up too, because you can hold on you can to grip stuff better, grip and rocks and stuff. So if you're slipping down a river and your hands are all pruny, grab a rock easier, you know, or you can grab a rock easier. Why not? <laughs> Thank you. I've been uh, having a really fucking good time uh, the last week. Doing? I've been learning uh, something. I've always wanted to get into like game design, uh -huh. but I've never been able to stick with it. Um, but recently, I did find a, a program called Godot that I had heard of before. Like Gal? Yeah, exactly. That's everyone I, t I tell about this, like, ooh. Because she's the only other Godot. And there's also Finding Godot, right? It's a movie. Uh, who a cares? Book or something. Who cares? That, that actual has artistic integrity. Yeah. I'm talking about the famous actress that was in Wonder Woman. Gal Godot? Yeah. Well, the program is like for game, indie game development, and it's incredible. And I've been doing some tutorials every day and learning how to code with it. And uh, I'm not very good at it right now, but I'm What I'm trying type to of games would this be like? Anything. You can do 3D, you can do 2D, you can do... Like what it's incredible. So what engine do you use? It's Godot. Like it's, so, it's so, its own engine. So much like how Unreal is its own engine, this is yeah. the Godot engine. What it's, makes Godot something to learn over other engines for you? Uh, because is it I, just the simplicity? Yeah, the simplicity and the amount of features it has and... The, the language is really easy. It's basically just like Python, mm -hmm. which is like one of the easiest coding languages. Um, and there's a big com a big growing community. Uh, so if I need help, there's like so many people I could ask. Because I follow this guy named Heartbeast, his tutorial series. And he's fucking awesome. Uh, so I've been having fun learning that. And people in the comments, I'm curious how long it took you to, to get okay at it. Because I'm hoping that my goal is by the end of the month to be able to like do... A little something without having to like reference my notes or a tutorial because it is it is a lot to remember like create like a very basic script yeah yeah it's fun though I really I've been enjoying learning how to code but my brain naturally doesn't really work that way so I'm having to like force it to because some people just can like oh logic that logic makes sense but like that type of like math and logic just kind of bounces off my brain. Michael Reeves, I think I popped into a stream of his because I saw that he was streaming on Twitter, <clears throat> and I was like, "Fuck, what does he? What does he stream?" I was interested, and he was just 
streaming himself on a like he was on a computer he was working on something but it was like putting in all these fucking values and shit I'd have to imagine he was doing some sort of programming or whatever he was doing he's a genius yeah he, him, he, him and William they're both like he blew up Michael yeah yeah well, I didn't realize how much he blew up now. yeah he actually just like I remember meeting him on tour yeah I think it was the first time I met they him they came to a super mega show in mm-hmm. Portland and we went out and got drinks with him afterwards and uh I mean they were already big but like Michael Reeves just well I think it, a lot a, a huge part of that also was uh, I think the iDubs collab really did a lot too Michael Reeves collab with iDubs yeah he made the like stepdad robot right oh damn and uh, I know William collabs with him too and then he made a he, he was we were supposed to get tased I think or that was they said idea. that's still on the table if we want to do a video really yeah damn I would love to but those guys are so smart like they're I geniuses. I don't know where you begin to even figure out like how to program a hat where the bill is always facing the sun. Like how do you, they? Because uh, William's really good with like robotics and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'd love to have those boys. We have two mics right there. Those boys could come sit their asses down, or even just do it over Discord. I think they're both good with robotics. It seems they're smart. They're smart dudes. They're do they smart. work in just kind of like the same exact kind of field in a way? I think so. I, okay. They're, they're a good duo. I don't know them too well. I know Michael. Michael has that podcast with like Pokimane and stuff now. Michael has a podcast with Pokimane? Yeah. Wait. And like two other people. So that's probably also why to, he's so big. Okay. He does a podcast. I, I guess I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Like I think the, it, what's it called? Is it a gaming podcast? Uh, I, I haven't listened. I don't know. I don't really listen to podcasts. I know Pokimane ain't making robots. Actually, she has been. <laughs> She's been building her own, uh, her own simps, her own is, simp bot five thousand. Didn't she like block the word simp or something <laughs> from her from her Twitch chat because people were bullying all of the simps? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He said the simp word. Are you a simp, dude? Are you are you a fucking simp, dude? Don't 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 fucking simp me right now. I didn't know even Pokemon on a podcast. Uh, what the hell? As we were talking about Rav, he just DM'd me for the first time since Rav last DM'd month. Rav DM'd me this morning. He DM'd me, did he DM you a picture? No. He said, he said, hey buddy, hope you're doing good. The latest pod, the latest episode of the podcast is fucking hilarious. Oh, that's sweet, Rav. Wow, that's cool. Uh, he, he sends me this. It's a, so, you know. <laughs> as much as I would like support from my friends, I guess, I guess I can do with memes. That's fine. Well, it's a, explain what the meme is. Um, it's a guy with a he, he very muscular, and he has a huge pair of balls. That's you can tell the weight of those balls is dragging his his underwear down. And uh, a guy's asking him, "Are you by chance forklift certified?" And then the guy says, "Yes." How could you tell? Doesn't he have a, Does he have a big penis in his shirt too? Yeah, I mean the penis is there, but like I, I think the balls is the more funny part to me. I like the balls. The shaft is Wait, straight up. Let me up. see it again. I didn't. I the did, shaft is straight up in his shirt. I just saw the shaft. But I, I like how the balls. The, the balls are right there in his underwear. The balls are literally like just <laughs> in his underwear. The other picture it almost swiped over to. Oh, because I, I sent him this one. That's a classic one, dude. I know. I, I had know. that picture like four years ago. And then, well, he sent me this one, which was a classic <laughs> one. I think I sent that to him. And then I've sent this to a lot of people. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's that one of fucking... my favorite. It's a meme where uh, it says how the Bible see it, and it's Jesus walking on water. And then the next frame is how a fish see it. And it's just <laughs> cock and balls. It's like, it's <laughs> just, like looking up, his, <laughs> looking up at G- under Jesus's gown, just as and you can just see his like balls. feet and cock and balls. His like hairy little asshole. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that picture is cemented in my mind with a certain event because I got woken up. We both got woken up by that earthquake. Uh, I was just about to head to bed too. And yeah, the, so there's an earthquake at like four a.m. I was recently, almost asleep, and Ryan called me, and uh, then. You sent me that image like right after. So right before I fell back asleep, that was like one of the last things in my brain. Did I tell you the first thing I did when uh when I woke up from the earthquake? No. I went ah oh, fuck because I smoked uh, some weed before going to bed because that helps me get to bed sometimes. So I woke up and I was hungry as hell, and so I just had a I woke up from the 
earthquake and I just had a big bowl of SpaghettiOs and meatballs, you know? So it was the earthquake's fault? Yeah. So the earthquake, so you wouldn't have done that if the earthquake hadn't happened? I wouldn't have done that if the earthquake hadn't happened. I would have been a good little boy and slept. Damn. But instead I had a big bowl of SpaghettiOs. Mother Nature out here, you know, causing you to slip up. I know. Damn, that sucks, man. That's why well, I've been slipping up. It's quarantine. A lot. It's everyone's slipping it's up on everything. It's hard not to slip up. I'm trying, I had, when I went home, I had a really, uh, I was not feeling too good. So I did a bunch of thinking and reading and stupid, stupid shit like that. So I've been, I'm trying to change some shit what now. Were you, what, what were you reading? Cat in the Hat? Green Eggs and Ham? Hop on Pop, actually. But I was... Junie B. Jones, maybe? I was reading uh, the book called Miracle Morning. It's pretty good. But I haven't read that in a series of unfortunate events book. Which one is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to wake up. I'm trying, basically, the I don't have a circadian rhythm. And I'm trying to actually for the first time since like high school get one so I'm trying to go to bed around midnight every night and wake up between 8 and 9 I'm bad I just like being nocturnal so I, I go to bed in between like 4 and 6 and then wake up in between noon and 2 Ooh. that sounds fun though well actually I wake up in between like 11 and 2 because some mornings I'll wake up and I'll be like oh damn I still have it's not even noon yet Ooh well, that's how I felt about waking up early recently because the last week I've woken up before 10 each day and I'm like <gasps> which must feel great it feels amazing it makes my day instantly better like even if I don't do anything like just being up with like a cup of coffee and like even if I just watch YouTube videos or go sit outside or something it's like ooh feels my, good my body and the way like it's working right now I know to go to bed once I start to see the sky to turn light blue <laughs> Once I'm like, oh yeah, the sun's coming up. I should probably Time to go to bed. Probably, I probably head to bed. I, uh, I, I like waking up early because well, my thing is when I wake up, I just feel like I'm too tired when I go back to sleep. But I've noticed the more I've been waking up at a consistent time, it's easier to get up. Like it's not as hard. Um, and then also, I've been taking like a shit ton of supplements every day. Trying to like, well, don't out me like that. <laughs> yeah. I've been taking a bunch of supplements, just like daily vitamin, soy, little yeah, actually a little bit of soy, soy bean lattes, and I've I've you know my pills and everything, and my you know, my crazy pills, and uh, I think vitamins have been great, but it made me so fucking constipated, and uh, like I almost cried earlier today. It hurt so really. Bad. It was like it was fucking painful. Damn. So I'm gonna have to add another pill, some stool softener in there. Really. Maybe. My stools are soft enough. It's because I think, I looked it up, it's because I take iron pills. Because my thing is like, if I don't eat that much, I at least am going to try to get the nutrients I, I'm missing out on. What? You're not even saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to get the nutrients, but I think the iron is what, the iron giant, that's what you're mouthing to me. See, there you go. I think uh, the iron is uh, is what's doing it. So I need to take poo-poo soft pills. Have you thought about aluminum? <laughs> Come on, you man. know what I'm saying? Or as those Brits and Aussies say, aluminium. aluminium. That's not that's, jaguar. It's not spelled aluminium. Jaguar. It's spelled aluminum. Jaguar. 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 What's up, guys? I'm driving my jaguar. I'm driving my corv. I'm um, corv. Get the fuck out, out my Corvette. Corvette. <laughs> Got a million, million different reasons that I could be a set. So get the fuck out my Corvette. <sighs> yeah, still yeah. have that song. I'm glad you still. Can you send that to me? I will. Because I've I've been wanting. You to can't hear take that. it away. I bought it. I know. It's my property. You bought it. It's your property now. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Sorry, ex Blake. Sorry, Freeman sorry, X. Google Music. It's mine now. Yeah, uh, <laughs> going to sue you to get I bought it for ninety nine cents, and oh god, ninety nine cents worth it. You we've talked it. about this song. Oh, before. we've talked about it. Yeah, so people know. Get the fuck and if out you don't, of my Corvette. Sorry, it's just a song. Some some. Some funny man made. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Not though. a legitimately funny. Well, he's funny to us. Yeah, and yeah, I, I don't think he does anything anymore. I think he deleted all of his all of his uh, music. Probably joined the army or something. He probably. I think he he shouldn't have given up. Yeah, he's probably pushing around a bunch of kids in in Afghanistan or Iraq or it fits him. It's okay. Whatever country we're whatever poor country we're bullying this time. There's, there's a lot of them right now. I, I can't remember, so maybe he's in Venezuela. Whatever or, dirt bag country we're both. <laughs> whatever shithole country. That's what it was. That's okay, what it was. Like, I was trying to think of what he said. <laughs> this was a dirt bag country. No, that's too nice. <laughs> that's too nice. Africal. Africal. Africal? Africal. I'm, I'm moving to Africa. <laughs> was it, did he say that Africa was a shithole? 
Uh, no, he said some places in Africa are shithole. He talked about countries. African countries being shithole countries and like yeah. Haiti and stuff. Yeah, I'm about to go put some food in my mouth. If you want to do that with me, do you have food? Uh, I'm gonna order something. I, or actually, I'm gonna drive to a, a little place on the street and get something. What is it? Del Taco. It's gonna give me the runs. No, well, that's what I need. We so. don't have any toilet paper. You really gonna eat Del Taco? That's not gonna hit me until later. Okay. I'm not constipated right now. I, so. I, tr I trust you, man. I trust you. Okay. Much like I trust our audience to uh, continue listening to this podcast. A lot of faith there, guys. Yeah. A lot of faith. So, some of you have been around since the very beginning. Round of applause for those people. And some of you have been around for merely a few weeks. Or even this is your first episode. Exactly. And if that's the case, I say welcome, y'all. Welcome to this uh, this ever-growing community of incels and uh, little freaks. And chronic. Chronic masturbators. Chronic masturbators, yeah. Incels, chronic masturbators, and freaks. The chronic masturbators alliance guild. <laughs> C-Mag. <laughs> Can we make a shirt and sell it on Super Mega's website for that? The Chronic Masturbator, ma the Chronic Masturbators Alliance. I don't know how many that would sell just because it's a vulgar shirt. But <laughs> I would, I would like to make a shirt that's just like, like it looks like a regular, like, like a guild shirt or like an organization. But it's for the Chronic Masturbators Alliance. I just feel guild. like that's what a lot of fucking incels would wear. Well, the joke's on them because you're taking their money. <laughs> just, I, I should honestly. I'm think I'm actually thinking about doing this like for just a sh just one drop like I'm not starting a line myself but just having a shirt design I actually don't want to give it away cuz uh but how about you can you take it out of the podcast Tell me tell me when uh, But I'll but I'll tell you and you can you yeah. can I'm thinking of just having a shirt and seeing how many I can sell and it's just going to be I'm going to get someone to like I'm going to get someone to draw it beautifully it's just going to be a What the fuck?